Exactly. So we talk all about the entrepreneur. In the book, we talk, I talk about the entrepreneurship and the companies build and the culture. Because to build a great AI company at this point, think about all the things I told you about AI. What do you need? Well, you need um, a lot of data. And China has so much data. So in the age of AI, I often talk about data is the new oil, and China is the new Saudi Arabia. <laughs> so China has all the data. Not only more people, but more depth because so many services are digitized. Uh, you're riding a shared bicycle, ordering food, and so on and so forth. So a lot of data. China has entrepreneurs, and AI gets better with data. So the entrepreneur process is you start with an idea, you try it out. Uh, if it doesn't work, you pivot. But with AI, you pivot with the data. So if it works, you, got, you get more data. Then it works better, you get even more data. So that's what happened with the loan example I gave. Right. First, they have some handwritten rules that had 20% default rate, lost a bunch of money. Then they trained a system that had 15% default rate, lost a bunch more money. Then they trained up another system based on that data, then it has 10% default rate. And now the default rate is 3%. And now it's making massive money. And it comes from iteration of not only the product to be a better um, user fit, um, but also the gathering, iterative gathering of data to make the AI more robust. Similarly, if you were to do autonomous vehicles, if you launch faster, you collect more data, that's arguably uh, to your favor. So the Chinese entrepreneurs are tenacious, they're, they work very hard, they uh, are very fast, they collect a lot of data, they get going, um, they don't need the final vision, they first get something going and collect more data and let it blossom. So um, uh, a last point I'll make is that uh, because deep learning is the technology, it's been invented for 10 years, people, there are a lot of people who know how to use it. It's no longer in the laboratories. It's no longer held in the minds of few, like in the days of Manhattan Project in Enrico Fermi. He had a, only, he, only he and a small number of people uh, can do this. AI is known by millions of people throughout the world. And China has so many engineers and students eager to get in. Um, the entry barrier is not as high as you think, especially unless you're doing autonomous vehicle or something really, really fancy. So China, so AI has shifted from the era of discovery and invention to the era of implementation.